Oh man, I can't do this alone. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get the story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Are those people trying to blow up a gas truck? We won't fight out the unworthy. Yeah, we're not doing this today! He's here! I'm locked up! I Almost sounded like they were part of a cult. I'll give Miles a heads up about them. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. was. That's Emily's tree. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again.
right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. Isn't it? To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. May I ask his calling? Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool! These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to protect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to if those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. I mean, are they, though? 
Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Please come to the front desk to pick up your RF badge. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Let's start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Wanna feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! May would have loved this place. group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will be your support. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Did you see the monthly schedule update? Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? 
You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. And you see, if you let B be the base of the nervous system and end the degree of food to be extracted... Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm-hmm. This way! Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. <laughs> it's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. It's all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... 
Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Sorry. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right, good luck out there. I find them, and they're waiting for me, with all sorts of weapons. 
What the hell have I walked into? Weapons? Whoever they are, they definitely read up on Marco. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... everything. I'll call him right... Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. Not ominous at all. Should take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Whoa! Is that a railgun that actually works? Hope you have renter's insurance. Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. But Scorpion is? Okay. Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay. Let's see. So 
Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? Come on, Birdie! Let go! Come on! Not buy a ticket for this ride! Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Jay, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. something two things this armed group calls themselves hunters and they've got a lot of accents hmm. international mercenaries that's what i'm thinking connections good could be front page material for your article these i'm writing it up now yeah. thanks oh and speaking of work i accepted harry's offer that's fantastic we should celebrate later after you're done with your current work totally talk soon Take five. Two of the blinds have stopped responding, and the spider has been seen in your area. Prepare the beasts. Yes, Craven, at once. Craven, that's their leader? Where did he recruit you? Alaska. I tracked poachers for the parks, but when I'd find them, I was harsher than my bosses would have preferred. Idiots. After the sixth incident, I got put on, what do they call it? A leave of absence? So I torched their building. Nice. Hold up in my place afterwards and waited for him to come for me. But it was Craven who did. Asked me if I wanted to hunt real game. And here I am. Over there! Uh, We're on boy. him now! above us he's overhead <laughs> that's everyone now 
What are they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others. All around the city. I'll send this to Genki. But he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded, so I'll join you soon. Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. I want them hungry. You hungry too? Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Oh, oh sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking feels operational. Good. Beat. <coughs> These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich, or well-connected, or both. You never told me who you'd bet on outside Volgograd. His name does not deserve to be spoken. I thought his youth would give him the advantage. And he had lived there all his life. Knew the trails perfectly. <laughs> Hello? What happened? to next.
Looks like this is the only way. A research lab? Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Craven studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpowered gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh. That's the Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. I was worried Lee wouldn't have any spirit left in him after being locked away for so long. That man. He's like a coil... all in his file. Gargan was a born hunter. Lee, he was molded into one after. You will regret these games.
really use some answers instead of questions right now. That looks... All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't... Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! <laughs> nice, doggy, kitty, robot! <laughs> No joke! Heal! Roll over! Play dead! Finally! I was wondering when Animal Control would show up! Martin Lee, Black Cat. This Craven guy's putting together quite the team.
have a nice trip. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. Are you? Estás listo? For what? En serio? My date's almost here, and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. Uh, can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. I see you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles. I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion, and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? Don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. And Felicia's on their list, too. Black Cat? Your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and... We're going to find Lee Miles. I promise. Guess I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? 